Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. I'm going to do a Libra love prediction reading for March 14th through March 20th. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else in your love space. Keep that in mind, please, as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on, my lovable, kind, sweet Libras. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my Libras? Show me spirit, guys. What's going on? Let's see, Libras, what you got going on. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. The Judgment card. The Death card. Two of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups. Well, let's see, Libra. First of all, you lead off your reading with the Ten of Pentacles, which is an awesome card because it's all about somebody that checks all your boxes. Someone that checks all of your boxes, all of the above. Um, you got, this is, um, you are, you guys have been through the storms together. You've been up and down, on and off. But now you're on a continual relationship. This is a relationship that is due to go the course. This is a relationship that you are looking at that you're hoping <clears throat> will actually <clears throat> stay the course. In other words, when I say stay the course, it'll be a long-standing relationship, possibly moving into a marriage. But you know what concerns me about this? This Ten of Pentacles, and, and like I said, you guys check each other's boxes. You know each other, all of the above. But there's something about this relationship that's just a little bit off for me. Because you have the judgment card there next. And that judgment card is all about someone, um, a reunion possibly with someone, getting back with someone. Um, something has kind of shook your ten of pentacles. Whomever this relationship that you're in, there is someone that has come back in to your love space that is kind of shaking your uh your ten of, of your ten of pentacles. Um, and I'm going to tell you what I see. Please don't give me a thumbs down. It is what it is. That judgment card, like I said, is a reunion with someone. And it's not a reunion with the person that's a Ten of Pentacles. It's a reunion with someone that you've loved in the past or loved before. Because here in the middle of the read, yeah, you were out. You, you thought this was going to move to the next level. You guys have been through the storms. You had already, you know, you had made up your mind. But like I said, here's that judgment card. Someone came back in. Someone came back into your love space that shook you. That um, perhaps you really, really were in love with before. Not just loved, but were in love with before. Because now you have the death card. And that death card it could be a Scorpio person, but it's all about transformation. You are now transforming rather than being someone that is sure about a relationship. You are now with that. And then you have the next. You're transforming and you're transforming with the two of pentacles. Uh-oh. That two of pentacles is uh, is about a juggling of emotions. Um, you were sure before, but you're no longer sure. You're coming in and out of, of thinking about this person. This person at the beginning of the read because... Someone, and I, I do believe this has been a true love, and we're going to see here, has kind of juggled this relationship, has caused you to, excuse me, to juggle your emotions when it comes to being with them. And the reason why I say that, because, look at this page of cups looking at this two of pentacles. The page of cups is the beginning of love. It is that, that butterfly feeling you get in your stomach. It's that feeling that you're just on, on cloud nine. Um, page of cups is just giving, turn, just, you know, the, the puppy love, but it's also just a beginning of being with someone. But this is someone, like I said, that you have, you're having a reunion with. Um, I, this is a, a interesting read. I, I don't even, I don't even know. It's just like, oh my goodness, somebody has shook your world. Somebody has come back in and just <laughs> said, nope, 
and your heart just went right back to them. So let's see. If this is your read, please give me. If I were you, I mean, it's up to you, obviously. But I would give give me another three to five minutes and let me clarify this read. Because if this is involving another person, I want to see what the heck you guys are going to do. Are you going to go back to this love or are you going to be with someone else? So if this is your read, sit back and relax. Let me clarify the cards for you, please. Let me clarify the cards um, let's see, why is this Ten of Pentacles here for my Libras? Show me, why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Libras? Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for my Libras? Huh. Whoever you're with, you guys are fighting. <laughs> because you know people know when there's other people um if you've truly been with someone and loved on someone and you guys have been together um there are going to be fights because they feel that somebody else you're, you're just not all about them they feel that somebody else is in it's a threesome rather than a twosome that someone else is in your love space they understand that and this is causing fights this is causing fights. Whoever this person is that you've been through the ups and downs with, now you're back on the down because they feel that something is just not right. So let's see why the judgment card is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the judgment card here for Libras? Show me why the judgment card is here for Libras. Uh-oh. Did I tell you not? Um, this is someone... Oh, my goodness. I do believe that you were going to get married to whoever this Ten of Pentacles person was, but that has been put on hold because somebody shook this. Somebody came in and shook your, your whole thought process when it comes to or when it came to marrying this person. You are now, like I said, with, with this Two of Pentacles down here, you're juggling this. And this person right here came back. It's a reunion. But this person came back, and I do believe you were scheduled to marry this, whoever this Ten of Pentacles person was, but somebody has come back in, and I do believe they are your true love. So let's see why the death card is here. Show me. Could be a Scorpio person with that death card, but let's see. Show me, Spirit Guys, why is the death card here for my, for my Libras? I have the Nine of Wands. This person is determined also. Mm -hmm. You're making a transition, but this person is determined to let you know that they still love you, that you're making the wrong decision because you are the true, um, they are the true love of your life. That's just what I see because this is a, my nine of wands is persistent, insistent. They will not stop. You will not also stop because the death card is a transformation. You are going to transform no matter what. You're going to figure out what's for real before you make, before you marry another person. You're going to transform and make sure that this is the right person that you are scheduled to marry. Or if the person that's coming back is the right person. Let's see why the two of coins is here. Or the two of pentacles. Show me spirit guides. Look at that. That magician is there. Yeah, you were never truly over this person. You were never truly over this person. That magician means it's manifestation. You were never truly over this person. You and this person just, your energy's just parted um, for a while, but it ne energy never leaves. That energy was still there. You were with this person here, which like I said, you guys had gone through the ups and downs and they really thought that you were with them. And you were with them. You loved them, but you're in love with this person. That's why your energy now is going in and out because you have manifested this person back into your love space. The person that you are supposed to be with or who you were originally with has been manifesting and been back in your love space. So let's see why is this page of coins here? Show me why the page of pentacles is, oh, excuse me, page of cups is here. Show me why that page of cups is here. What has happened? Why is the page of cups here? Show me spirit guides. Well, the universe has spoken. That's that Ace of Swords. Yep, I'm telling you exactly. <laughs> you have the truth now because your heart tells you because they've come back. You know the old saying that they say if you let something go, if it comes back to you, it was always meant to be. Unfortunately, somebody got hurt or someone will be hurt because the truth is there. You want to offer your love to someone else. And this is a person that, like I said, you guys have known each other because you, you know, they walked in and you, it's almost like your heart just dropped. 
It's almost like your heart just dropped. I don't know if anybody's ever seen, this might be dating me, but if you've ever seen the uh, movie, The Notebook, where she thinks she's going to marry this great person, and he is, he's gorgeous, he's got money, but yet the other guy, who the energy was always there and always around her, she loved him. She was in love with him, a different kind of love. She loved the other guy, but she loved the guy that she ended up being with. And actually, uh, if you know the movie, they end up passing together. But anyway, look at this reading. This is the um, the page of pentacles. This person checked, I'm not paid, ten of pentacles. They are ten of coins on this card. They checked all your boxes. They checked every box that you had. You've been through some times with them. You guys have, have been together. And it was on easy street. You thought this was going to go into stability. But look the five of wands is up there and the five of wands means there's fighting because someone always knows if you've been with somebody you know that energy so you know someone knew that the energy was there with someone else here's this judgment card this is a reunion with someone that you were in love crazy in love with before i don't know what happened but somehow this ten of pentacles person or this person um snuck or got back in or either you left this person um and like i always say it's better to have loved and lost and never to have loved at all but also this person, they say, if you let it go and it comes back, here they are back. It was always meant to be. You were going to marry this Ten of Pentacles. You were getting to that space of marriage. But this person has come in and shown you where your true love is. You have the Death card, which could be a Scorpio person, but that's a transformation card. You are transforming, and there's a Nine of Wands. You are determined to find out if the true love is what you have or is true love, and you know in your heart already. That your true love is this person that came back from this reunion, um, with this reunion here. Then you have the two of pentacles, which means that now you are, um, you are second guessing. There's your, your, your emotions are changing with this whole situation because you know, you have manifested this person back. You let them go, but the universe brought them back. So here you have at the end, the page of cups where you're offering your love to them once again. That that love that you know, that new love, that, that mm, incredible love. That love, it's not new per se, but it's new on this path that you're on. Because you might have known them before, but you know them totally different now. And they love you totally different because they've come back. And the Ace of Swords is all about truth because you know this is definitely all about truth. Let's see what the angel cards, angel oracle cards have to say to you. Sh show me spirit guides. What does the angel oracle cards have to say? Well, let me get them together. They're upside down. Bear with me. So, okay. Angel oracles. Oh, manifestation and that's definitely what has happened here it has your love has been manifested back but it's only because the energy never left it, it it never left the energy never left between you two and that's what is happening that's what i have for you for your love prediction reading legal